I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll learn a technique to solve logarithmic equation. The question is find the roots of each equation. The roots is find the value of x, right? Solve the equations. So we have four practice questions for you. Log of x minus 2 equals to 1. Log to the base 3 of x plus 2 equals to 2. 3 times log to the base 2 of x minus 5 equals to 6 log of x plus 4 whole square equals to 0. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the technique which I'm going to use to solve these logarithmic equation is to write them as exponential equations. So we'll write them as exponential, you can say equivalent, right? Now let's begin from the very first one log x minus 2 equals to 1 so if I don't write anything what is the base base is 10 correct so the base is 10 so in this case since here the base is 3 base is 2 base is 10 here right so log to the base 10 is by default correct so when log to the base 10 of x minus 2 is 1 then what is x minus 2 equals to x minus 2 is 10 to the power of 1, which is 10, correct? And therefore, we get x as equals to 10 plus 2, which is 12. You get an idea. So, so x equals to 12 is the solution, correct? So that is the way. So first you write it in exponential form. So let's do this process once again. Log to the base 3 of x plus 2 is 2. So 3 goes there. So it becomes equal to 3 squared. Do you see that? And here we are left with x plus 2. Is it okay? So x plus 2 is equal to 3 square. So that is the exponential equivalent of logarithmic equation, right? So that helps to solve. And we know 3 square is 9. So we can rewrite x as equals to 9 minus 2, which is 7, correct? So we get x equals to 7 as our answer, correct? Let's do this one. First, you should divide by 3. So when you divide by 3, you get log 2, base 2, x minus 5 equals to 6 divided by 3, which is indeed 2, right? Now we'll write with exponents. So we have x minus 5 equals to 2 square, which is 4, and x is equals to 4 plus 5, which is 9, correct? This one here is very interesting. The base is 10, and so it gets as x plus 4 whole square equals to what? 10 to the power of 0, right? 10 to the power of 0. And what is this 10 to the power of 0? Anything to the power of 0 is 1. This is important to understand, correct? So now when it is 1, then we'll do square root of this number, correct? So we get x plus 4 equals to square root of 1, which is, which is 1, correct? Now, a couple of important things to understand here. Whenever you do square root, you can actually take plus and minus value, correct? So, so I'll write plus and minus value here. So square root, we'll get plus value or minus value. So we have plus or minus one. Now, as you know, the domain is, in this case, x plus four should be greater than zero, right? So, so we know x should be greater than minus 4. Is it okay? So that is the domain for us. So remember, if we get a solution that x is less than 4, it will be wrong. But in this particular case, since we square it, everything is valid. It is always true except for it cannot be minus 4. So in our case, in our case, x is not equal to minus 4 is the only restriction. Do you get it? So x cannot be equal to minus 4. x can be any other value. If I write minus 4 here, I get log of 0, which is undefined, right? That is why. So we'll take both plus and minus 1 as our values. So that gives us two possible solutions, right? So one is x equals to, if I'm taking plus 1 value, 1 minus 4, the other one will be x equals to minus 1 minus 4, correct? So x 1 minus 4 gives us the value of minus 3 and here we get value of 
x as minus 5 you get an idea right so minus 5 you can substitute these values here and check for each what do you get if I substitute minus 3 here minus 3 plus 4 is 1 so 1 square is 1 log of 1 is 0 correct minus 5 here minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1 but square of minus 1 is plus 1 so log of 1 you know is 0 so that is also true so in this case we get two solutions right so the solutions here are x equals to minus 3 or x equals to minus 5 both are the solutions that is very important to understand in other cases the solutions we have got just one which normally will be clay will be your case right sometimes we may not have any solution correct so because you understand log has restrictions it log of non negative I should say greater than 0 are the values which you can normally find right here we got two values since there was square here right so I hope that helps you to understand how to solve logarithmic equations in general I'll provide you with links where we'll take up more examples with logarithmic equations and also change of base I'm Anil Kumar I hope that helps thank you and all the best